Welcome to Wednesday Comics. To my right, we have the Connor Hawk of Wednesday Comics. Alex, how you doing? Hello. And across from me, we have Alan Scott himself. Garrett, how you doing? Brightest day. I'm only going to start with that. Alan Scott, Green Lantern, and I am your host, uh, Marvin. How's everybody doing? Yeah, original. Oh, gee. Who am I? You're fucking Green Arrow. What do you mean? Holy shit. Connor Hawk? Yeah. Green Arrow's son. Yeah, he turns to Green Arrow. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know what that was. There's like a mix. He was once a ninja, like a Shaolin monk. He like shaves his head. Like but yes, he was. He was he was Arsenal? Green Arrow? No, he was just no, Green Arrow. Arsenal Straight was... up Green Arrow, maybe. No. Yeah, he was. Maybe he was. I don't know. I know he was. And we'll and find out later on the show. <laughs> How? His game. Oh. <laughs> hmm, trivia. I did a lot of research about Green Lantern and Green Arrow today. So. Yeah. Well, fuck, then I'm screwed. Well, I haven't read Kevin Smith's run through, um, like, uh, Don't you remember Multiversity, that issue? Connor Hawk? Yeah, I do. Who's Green Arrow? No, Oliver Queen was Green Arrow. He was, like, some ninja dude. No, he was Green Arrow. No. They were all dead, remember? It was just the kids. But then there was no more heroes. I mean, no more villains left. So all the kids just like oh, you're hung right. out and were like, fuck, I guess we're heroes. But they, it was more like they were just celebrities because there's no you villains know, left. That's one of two issues that I read like three years ago. The best miniseries of all time. By the way, we talked about comic books for first. No, that's not for new readers. But I mean, it's pretty good. Get it. Issue number three, I believe. Pax Americana. One in Eisner. It's one of the best single issues I've read in my whole life. Graham Morrison, obviously. Frank Wiley. That's right. The best. You should read that issue. Okay. <laughs> There's some creative changes. In some I was going to say, books. speaking of uh, DC Comics, they made some recent changes. We talked about in the forecast briefly. Just brought it up. But we thought we'd go in-depth on, on this uh, Wednesday Comics regular show. Weekly comic book <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Justice League. Well, we'll, we'll save Justice League for the last. So there's going to be a switcheroo, as Alex called it. Did you call it that? Nope. No, I did. <laughs> uh, Tim Seeley, man of Nightwing right now, writer, is moving over to Green Lanterns and taking over, at least for what's solicited. They haven't had officially announced it, but I mean, I'm assuming. Yeah. Because it doesn't have a writer otherwise, because Sam Humphreys officially is moving to Nightwing and taking that over. So they did a little swap. With Baby Bernard Chang. Baby Bernard Chang, which oh, you said Batman Beyond? Art. Yeah, great. Amazing. I need to see that art because I don't know who that is. It's fucking great. I'll pull it up. Okay. You don't know who Bernard Chang is? I thought you used to get Batman Beyond. You love the series? You, read the, you watched the whole thing? No. No, no. you didn't? No. <laughs> I know. That's the joke. <laughs> no. He's asked, shit. You, he's asked you like 15 times in this show. I thought I'm you watched still, the whole thing. I'm still saddened that Alex has seen so much animated series of like a bunch of shit, but he has not seen the... 30 episodes of Batman Beyond. You know, I, a, a, f- a friend of mine from work told me that third season kind of takes a dump. They, what, it, Beyond? It, it yeah. doesn't matter it, if it season gets, one and two are amazing. It gets repeated over and over again. And Batman Beyond Return of the Joker is one of the Wasn't best Wasn't there a Justice movies. League Beyond book for a while? Yeah, there was. Speaking, it's of, off. speaking of Justice League, Justice League also has a new creative change. Nice. R- taken over by the uh, best writer of DC right now, Christopher Priest. He's taking over the book with Pete Woods. I can take it or leave it. Uh, but I'll get it for that Christopher Priest, that CP. He's taking it over. First arc already. Has me ho- it has me hooked. What happens when the Dark Knight is sleep deprived and makes a mistake that is costly? Like... There's okay. There's another podcast out there. Uh, it's actually pretty great. It's called Sincerely X. It, what it's about is people anonymously, like they can't, can't really tell these stories by coming out and saying, "Hey, this is me. I'm telling this story." So, they uh, these this uh, podcast reaches out to them. They record anonymous anonymously. They change their voice a little bit and they tell these stories. There is one about a nurse who did the same thing, and it's a very good story. She's like. That I just felt like this was a job eventually. Like I was putting, I was like stretching myself thin and I made a costly mistake. And I then, so now we have a situation in Justice League where Batman does the same thing. Like you always talked about, how's Batman in 15 books? So what happens when he's all over the place at once and he makes a mistake and it costs. You no, know, it's already a problem with Justice League. What's that? Batman never gets tired. Ba- he's a human. When Batman's you know, tired, he's awake. But that's, see, that's the thing that I think that I like that you guys uh, are having maybe an issue with. Like he took a death stroke and said, "Okay, let's break down like what what issues would this guy really have?" And I think that's what he's going to do. Just like like Batman, 
he can't be in 15 things though. he's very uh he's, he's an alex friendly writer but I, alex doesn't really like him I, I just don't think i liked his death stroke and he's i think logic. for me he's, he's logical which is weird because you think that'd be like my bread and butter <laughs> that's what i mean he's like how can batman be in 15 places at once of course he's gonna make a mistake he's just human because he's Batman. <laughs> well, if you believe in the, you know, Grant Morrison, like Batman, God Batman, then yeah, he can't make a mistake. But this is, it sounds like he's going back to being like just a human Batman. And that's the Batman I enjoy. I know you guys like Tom so, King's been doing that. Now we're going to have Christopher Priest. So if normal Batman gets like two hours of sleep at night, does that mean this Batman only got like a half hour in one night? I've, I've, I've always <laughs> assumed that Bruce Wayne gets approximately three hours of sleep. Assuming he gets done fighting crime at 530 in the morning, gets home. Depending on when e- sunrise even, is. even takes a half minute just to calm down. Goes to bed at six, wakes up at nine. I always assume that he uh, got half an hour of sleep and then drank a glass of Lazarus water and he refreshed himself. Got back up. Since you be maybe. Of course. He talked to Goku. Hey, <laughs> give me that bean. But I am excited because it's, I mean. I might give it a try. No, uh. I we didn't enjoy Brian Hitch. I don't know many people that do. Some people do actually. Um, I enjoyed enjoyed his volume of Justice League of America that led into this. But then it was basically like, hey, here's all the keys to the kingdom, and he was like, let's fucking do it all. I think he eventually, um, I spiked. He might have got overwhelmed, Brian Hitch, because every time I saw him on Twitter, he was always like, uh, I'm up to issue like thirty one. He was up to issue like thirty one three issues into printed Justice League. Like, he was already done with his whole... He's, he's done at 31, right? Yeah. He was, like, done with his run, and he was, like, had already started. I was like, how did you write those issues so fast? But I think maybe just because he didn't want to be delayed, he just was like, you know what? Well, I have been hearing good things about this last arc that he did, this legacy really? arc. Really? Okay. But that's, I mean... It, yeah, it's time travel, right? I've seen people say feature. that current when we were reading it, that it was really good, too. And I was like, well, as you head up your yeah. fucking... As yeah, if you no. go back to the episode titled Batman's on a farm, he's been on a farm for three days, so, <laughs> or for three issues. Uh, we don't like Farmer Batman. Why well, didn't? I, I blew up on that show. <laughs> you know, if, if Farmer Batman would be fine if he was actually farming, I'd probably be okay with that. Oh, yeah, he was At just least, standing around. He's just standing around a tree. And that's the Batman we're going to get back to, the Batman who's just human standing around. No. And this, I am actually... Cause, you think he's going to do those breaks like he does for I think so. Because I uh, started in his mm. Black Panther, and I think it was set up the same way, if I remember correctly. I love that. I know you hate I that. Know you I love it. I love it like, so much. I was just about to say, I love his story everything structure. has to be the same. Change it up. But, uh, you know, so, no, to be fair. Challenge I may, yourself. I would maybe give an opportunity just for the fact that maybe he does write Justice League way better. It's more than just one character that he gets to focus on. You can't make, you can make Here, Superman human Here's human-ish. the deal. I know you're all going to get it. Because we're, that Justice League movie comes out, and this is the next issue that comes out after it, I think. Or but around there. It's like, so you give me two, like, mez for a Justice League. I want a great fucking artist, then, if you're going to give me a eh, writer. I, I mean, it depends if Pete Woods is... I didn't enjoy him. He was on Action Comics before, when Greg Rick was writing him, uh, writing that book a while back. I didn't enjoy... I think he draws faces weird. Um... But, I mean, he might have changed. That was how many years ago? Like, seven years ago, so. I'm going to look at his art. <laughs> look at his art. Did you know that? Remember the action comics with Nightwing and Firebird? I never read that. Oh, you never read that? Okay, mm-hmm. never that's the one you, I read, but that's a long time ago. For that. That was God, I was finding my comics, and I got to the Superman <laughs> grounded for, like, 13 issues, and I was like, and you framed throw well. these away. Uh, JMS, you let me down. So, I mean... That it's gonna two things are gonna make you guys try out that book. Maybe other people want to try it out. If you want to jump on, that was a good jumping on point. Uh, Justice League movie's good. Then you'll want to get Justice League book. And True. two, maybe you just want to try out number one and see how it is, or number thirty one, whatever. You know, maybe I will just give it a try to see because actually this week for a lot of books, I actually got a lot of number ones this week to try. And Papa's getting pretty good at cutting those ones if I don't like them. I was gonna say you've been pretty good actually about doing that and. uh Willing to say you'll at least willing to say I'll try to jump on. Well, say you, art is very generic. And so you you asked me before the show started, am I willing to get Green Lanterns with Sealy on it, even though I haven't gotten any oh, yeah. of the other thirty one? Yeah. And I'm gonna put it out here right now, officially on the show. I will get issue what thirty two. Whenever the new yeah, whenever Sealy jumps on, I will get it. I will get the and first then issue. You're gonna go back and get the first thirty one issues. It depends if it's actually that good. I may look into it. I'm not li- like me and Marvin the whole time are like <laughs> fucking Alex would love this book. I know. And my, that's my concern. Believe that- Alex, you wouldn't have such a big issue if you could just get it in trades. It's true. I know. And actually, I was talking to someone else today at work. I probably will just start trying to get trades more like, often. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. just 
like you don't have to get all the issues all like you have to you can collect stuff you want to collect. I think that's actually though like a mindset that you know, like a lot of people who are newer to like I'm not saying you. You can I I don't mean to diagnose you. But I mean some Dr. people Marf. that like get into collecting and say I have to collect all of it. No yeah. matter if I don't like it or not. But if I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna have it all. Or something she's just gonna trade. You know what I mean? Well, like that if you, you you do really care to like have Green Lanterns number one. I think the thing is that I know that's going to cost me a lot of money to find some of these issues. The trades, you know? baby, they're out there. And so it's like, you know, it'd be easier just to do trades or mm-hmm. get a library card and read Hoopla. It's seriously, the library card would be your cheapest option. Yeah. So, <laughs> Or even just going to the library. They actually have a lot of trades. At the the one sweet gem I got for from Green Lanterns is that variant cover where they're pointing their Green Lantern light into the Jack-O-Lantern. I busted oh, yeah. that bad boy out for Halloween. The Halloween oh, issue is even good. By the way, coming up, Halloween. So good. I, Obviously, you know what the fuck am I acting like it's... Some well, I was surprised. New planet. What is this not being uh, published till October? <laughs> Coming up. If you didn't know. Uh, talk about some books. Sure let's do it. Not. Let's go. Wildstorm. I, I love books. We haven't talked about Wildstorm in a while, so let's talk about it, baby. Wildstorm number seven. This is Warren Ellis, written by John Davis Hunt, art by Steve Bellato, uh colors by. Um, so I'm going to make a confession right on the show here, like I always do with my confessions. Uh, I was behind like three issues. Uh, it was five. I was on, so I had three, five, six, seven. Okay. No, wait. Maybe four, two. I don't know. Does it say four up there? Yeah, there's three there and there's one here, so there's four issues. Anyways, what a fucking great book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. But there's a, you were talking about it. So four starts at the end of a fight scene. By the way, I love how this book, I don't think, I can't think of an, another comic that does this. But, this book, each issue ends, and the next issue picks up right when it ends. Like, there's no space in between it. Which is nice. Like, Warren Ellis, like, knows what he wants his story to be so much that he's like, no, it's going to, it's basically, 1 through 24 is going to be one big issue, because it never stops. Uh, so, you get 4 is still that fight from 3 at the end of 3. Uh, it was amazing. And then... We get and then like five or six. There's another. There's great fight scenes in yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Davis Hunt and Warren Ellis, how they're choreographing these fight scenes is just like so fun and yet inventive. Like I don't think I've seen in comic books. It reminds me a lot of uh, Inception a lot. Like there's fight scenes that are just like wow. They've used a the, the panel itself and the comic book medium to show a fight that I've never seen like that before. And B just for in, gener- in general, like if this was a real fight. Like they use the environment a lot. Mm-hmm. They use, uh, like, I mean, I guess I'm not an expert in it, but I would imagine that some of the tactics they're using look like real. And knowing Warren Ellis, he probably did a lot of research of like real world tactics to like defend yourself, get a gun away from from the person you're going to fight with, and all this stuff. I don't know. Just really like when I was reading, I was like, the action scenes are good. The dialogue I find really enjoyable. It's like very. It doesn't like try to hold back on the tech terms like. To be like, oh no, we're making this dumb. We're dumbing this down for you. It's like, no, either you understand this, you don't understand this. We're just going to tell you. But also, like the dialogue between people, I actually find really enjoyable. It's like a fun book, but also like it's heavy enough if you want to like read into it and like see the real world aspects of like this technology age, where these two companies are fighting over Earth and space, and then the company in between that's just trying to stop them from destroying everything. I I love this book. It's really good. The, I agree with the art, the story. I mean, I don't, every time I like start the next issue, I don't feel confused. I'm like, oh yeah, that just happened. So I know exactly what's going on. Um, and it's fun, like seeing the team kind of develop. I haven't seen that blonde lady yeah. in a while though. She's, she what, has been, zealot? yeah, zealot. She has been in, she's been doing, she's, but, was um, she the one that re- uh, recruited Michael? No, or was no. Somebody else? she's no. the one doing the supernatural investigation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. She was showed up in issue one. Yep. She's in part of issue two. Yep. She's in without in one more issue. Yeah, she, she runs was. into one of the aliens. Yeah. Again later, but uh, I loved the fight scene that John's in. Yeah. As he tells everyone, I've been compromised. They're going to start to kill me soon. Get me out of here. That was such a tense scene. He's like, I got maybe two minutes. He goes, Get me out of here. And they're like, We can't just bring you. You're going to ruin our. Uh, you're going to compromise our traveling system if they see you. Uh, if they see us come get you, go hide somewhere. And he's like trying to, all these doors. He's like, I can't get in. And he's like, find a closet or something. He's like, I'm trying to find a closet. And he looks over at those two guards and they get something. And he goes, 
Yeah, I've been compromised. And then right away, pulls out the gun. And then the best panel. I thought Alex, I go right away. I was like, this is Alex's favorite panel. Describes the gun, the blueprint. Yep. I, I was cool. I, I looked at it sweet. and I, um, as John is going through taking, I mean, flawlessly taking all these people, I'm counting how many shots he takes because I counted. There's only seven bullets in this gun. If he gets more than seven shots, I'm going to be pissed because it didn't reload. Yeah. It was great. Took five shots to take out these guys. I was like, shit, yes. This is awesome. It's and cool. I think that is really, like, that's his book. It's, like, real, but also it's, like, this uh, thing where I'm, like, anything can happen in this book, but it plays by its own rules. You know what I mean? Like you said, mm-hmm. seven bullets. He's not going to use one of the seven bullets, A, but there's aliens. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> uh, you know, and the weird thing is that that didn't bother me at all, that there's other things, other you know, um the engineer's been bleeding off and on. She goes, I don't know what's wrong, but yeah. they could use some painkillers. Like, Dude, you're the best. I, I love this book. You know what I do have to notice, though, is like Warren Ellis wrote Injection. Yeah. This seems very Injection-like, except this actually makes fucking sense. I say, I'm put, <laughs> I say Injection, you and I, I was willing to give that book free reign to do whatever the hell it right. wanted, and it seems so blah. Right. This book, I the first two issues, I was like, it's good, but am I really into it? Holy shit, I read three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm like, shit, this book is top it's notch. It's really like I said on the forecast, this seems like an image book to me because it really does do whatever it wants. Yeah. And it's, you know, this is the thing, the first book that I can, not the first book, obviously, but like the only, my only ongoing right now that I can say is cool. Yeah. Like it's just, when I read, I'm like, this is a fucking cool book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's cool. a spy book, but also there's a lot of action. There's, like I said, there's a lot of like scientific stuff. So it feels like a sci fi book also. And it's also, there was an issue where the people up in, uh, what's the, uh, Skywatch? Skywatch. That's what I was going to say, but I sounded wrong for some reason. Skywatch, when they are, he comes up there and he goes, What took you? So, it took you an hour to teleport me up here. And he's yelling at the guy and they're like acting like hard asses. And they go, Okay, we're going to take an hour meeting, uh, secluded, shut off all uh, communication devices. They go in there, they shut it down. And the guy's like, Holy shit. Like he like lets loose and he's like, and they start complaining about being on Earth, how it smells, and stuff like that. And it's also like funny. Like, I mean, that whole scene was like, it's, it really is like, it surprised me. So, well, the first three issues we did, like, yeah. actually, I think the first issue were kind of like, I, I think I liked it, and you two were like, well, oh, we'll see. Like, it was kind of right. like slow. And I, I remember saying, I think this book's going to be kind of slow to get into it and stuff like that. But I think past two, it, and especially it three, helps the ante, three yeah. was just like, boom, here we go. And I think now every issue is like, you know, you're going, up the roller coaster, so you're like it's more. There's more tension. Like we were fighting in this one. There's a lot of tension, uh, and when there's not, it's like, like I said, it'll release some stuff with the humor stuff like that. But I don't know. It's just a great book. Mm-hmm. I'm so yeah, so surprised by that book because I expected. I'm gonna be honest. I expected to get that book for like two issues and be like, that's eh, not for me. Yeah, because I a don't know anything about Wildstorm. I'm not really a Wildstorm guy. B, it kind of turns out that I like. I like Warren Ellis, his ideas, but sometimes the execution's off. So, like you guys said with injection, like you would hate because I, I didn't get injection for like the first three issues, and then I stopped. I was like, I think this is going to take a while to get into, yeah. so I'm not going to get any issues. And I thought that's what this was going to be, but this is more. And also, like Warren Ellis, less John Davis Hunt, kind of just take the reins. Sometimes there's a lot of like silent panels, and there's that issue that issue where they come to the uh, apartment to kill Michael, and there's some panels that are like. It's like uh, fucking like twenty panels on two lines. You know what I mean? Like like yep. small panels of like yeah. Michael coming at the door and like oh, that was a great fight too. Mm-hmm. And I yeah I just like this would be a book that I would say if you're new and you're like scared of continuity. Like I don't like I don't think any of us knew anything really. I mean you knew kind of Grifter. You got Grifter. Real cool I, I knew Grifter and I I knew Zealot and I knew Voodoo and I knew some of these characters, but it's never because I read anything other than I read Grifter from New Fifty Two. And so I think you really could jump onto this, and I think it's a really, sorry, you I think uh, it's a really great book, but also it's kind of inching its way. We were talking about how there's a preview for uh, Michael, what's the last one? Cray. Michael Cray. Uh, Cray and they, Cray. they talk about Oliver Green. Oliver Green. Oliver Jesus. Queen. <laughs> Oliver Green. Can you tell I did Green General Research? Of course. Oliver Queen. So we were speculating before the show. Is this in DC continuity? I don't think so. Because they would have talked about like Superman would have been showing up and stuff like that. But I think like it's going to be a different, like a, basically like an alternate universe where these are these characters. And I think maybe actually now I just thought of it. Maybe only like the real human superheroes exist. Green Arrow. Maybe we'll see a Batman. But we won't see like Superman and stuff like that because obviously they would be around right now. Yeah. 
uh, he would have saved that guy falling out of the building. But no, we had uh, she had to save him. What was his name? What's her name? Oh, the engineer. Yeah, engineer. Angela Spica. I really love this book. Even like the art, John Davis Hunt is in the coloring mm-hmm. is like it's like real, but it's not realistic. If right. that makes sense, it like still it's gets like a science very well designed to it. Yeah, yeah, it's very well designed, and then the blueprint and stuff like that. Like the great choices to be like. Like that get that blueprint alone got me amped for that fight scene. Yep. Like when he's like he's like pull out your, what's it called? What he little bastard. Pull out your little version bastard. Version one, which is cool. Because I mean, there might be future versions. He's or... like pull out your little bastard, and then when he finally does pull it out, it's, it basically just stops and tells you all about the gun, and then he goes into the fight. So it's kind of like and it's what I loved about cool it is it looked book. like a Wally PPK basically. Well, I, say, I, I immediately Wolves. thought of James Bond. Yeah. So. Uh, I you know what was so blown away and by the way the bias because I read four issues so this is probably going to be based on four issues mm-hmm. rather than the one I can't separate it this is a ten for me see now I I, I, I have to admit, if I had read the other four issues or three issues before it would be a ten but I haven't it's a nine yeah nine for me as well I think as on its own um, just because we're still learning new things like it wasn't a perfect issue for me but like it was very well done by the way executed. I listen to film scores when I read books. Uh, and while I was reading this issue, you know what was playing? Inception. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Why so serious from the Dark Knight soundtrack? Oh, at the so that, that beginning scene oh. where he's like getting chased and stuff, like, it made it more like intense. It I was so good. Man. Cool. <clears throat> so you know what else we got? We got Generation Gone number three, written by Alice Cott, art by Andre Lima Areu. Sorry, colors by Chris O'Halloran. I um, you weren't that fond of this. No, issue. no. Issue one was great, and issue two was even better. Issue two, I was loved great. two. Uh, this issue started off at the riot where we left out at two, but there's something that doesn't. I don't know. Didn't seem to flow well with me. I don't remember Baldwin and Nick fighting. They I mean, weren't. That's so. Basically, they get all, all three are at the riot, and then uh, Nick fucking loses it. Okay. And he's the one that's like, because his power is he can't feel anything. Yeah. And he's like, um, because he can't feel anything, he just whatever. What he wants. But he does have super strength as well. As he's got no empathy right. for anybody or anything. He right. feels no so, pain himself. He's just he's doing whatever the shit he wants. But you know that's why it makes me think of like Fantastic Four, which I don't even know, but I just think of the first movie that came out. Like, it was kind of like whatever action or whatever they were expressing at that time is kind of what they turned into. And it's kind of like that. Like, he was a complete asshole in issue one to his girlfriend. Like, any girl that's with a guy, I mean, that she's just, like, basically submitting to his douchery. Yeah. And then, uh, what's the African-American man's name? Uh, I just know him by Baldwin. Baldwin, yeah. So, Baldwin's, like, a great person for Elise. Uh, the color Elliot's Elena. Elena. E L E N A. So basically, it felt more like a slice of life, to be honest. Like in, it was a slice of life inside the story. Like it wasn't a lot of exposition. Yeah. It just focused on this riot where Nick lost it. Um, Nick basically like called Elise a bitch. Like he slapped her across the face as like hard as he could. She yeah. starts bleeding, and then him and Baldwin start getting it because Baldwin's like. What the fuck? What normal person hits a girl like this, especially with superpowers? Yeah. You know, and so they're all in a huge fight. Um, yeah. And so basically Nick leaves and, you know, I think he's going to be the wild card. He's going to be the the bad guy from the Doctor Doom. Basically, yeah. He's going to have like the power is going to get to his head, whereas these two are like, whoa, like, Stay hey, grounded. It's, it's cool to have powers, but like we still have lives. Like we're not going to be ruthless with this. Okay. Um, Talking to you about it makes me at least go, I'll give issue four a chance. This one really right. was a seven for me. I was like, eh, I'm, I'm I'd missing. give it an eight. I think I the like art was on point. Something. The art yes. was really great. I mean, that's the best part about image books, except for uh, Seven to Eternity, is consistent art. Yep. Um, but I think, like, the first two issues, like, really set us up for what, what these characters are like. And I think we're just finally starting to get a little bit past the surface of who they are. And so now it's like a love triangle with people that are developing powers. My my concern for issue four is going to be, at the end of issue three, spoilers, Baldwin tells... Uh, Ellie that he loves her and I'm really hoping that Ellie doesn't just go oh I love you too I there's wanted no to, way she's, I, pre- she's gonna friend zone I, I think she, I'm hoping she friend zones him right now they can get together yeah. later just don't right. be issue four going 
I love you too. I've just been letting Nick uh, screw me screw me for the last three years because I've been yeah. waiting for you. See, that's the thing. It's like Nick never even looked like he liked her. Yeah. He never looked like he liked her. And I and you can tell from issue one, I'm pretty sure Baldwin liked her to begin with. Yeah. But he keeps having to wait in the shadows, which I is great. That's fine. I don't care about that yet. You can build into that. Just don't let issue four be your opportunity to go, yeah, let's do this. To, let's be together and right. go against Nick. No, grow into it. And then in the background, there is, it's like two or three pages. It's the general and the doctor. Uh, Akio. Yeah, Akio. Basically, um, the general's like, hey, like, I don't want these kids to like ruin their lives because of this. Like, he's actually concerned for them. Yep. And Akio's like, let's see what they do next. You know, so they're like definitely butting heads. And, and the I like that in the background. Good guy. Yeah. Like, Where's, you'd usually think the general you? is like, hey, I'm going to go kill the Hulk, you know, and yep. think of Ross. And it's like kind of playing. He wants to help them, yeah. You know, he doesn't. He doesn't come off as he wants to, but I, I, that's yeah. how I feel. Is he wants to be the good guy? He wants to deter them so that they don't become danger yep. for other people. Yep. And then Akio's like, "Let's see what they can fucking do, baby." So I give this an eight, and I you said seven. Yeah, I think that's a good average, like seven to I eight. Say, I, I don't know if I, the art was great, but actually talking to you made me go, "Okay, at least four yeah. needs a chance." Well, it makes me think of like Boy Meets World, like when they're shaking the Christmas presents and they're like, "Wool," you know, because like I picked up that issue and I was like, "This is four dollars." Like issue one this was feels like huge. one piece of paper. So issue one was thick. Issue two, a eh, little little thinner. This issue, you pretty much pick it up going, oh, I just... But it, it was all content, so yeah. if it was ads, I would have been pissed. Um, what book I was not pissed at was Batman the Red Death, Red Death, number one, written by Joshua Williamson, art by Carmine D. Gia Domenico, and colors by Ivan Placentia, and gotta add, that fucking amazing cover by Jason Fabok. Fabic, however you fucking say his last name. Fabic, hey, yeah. I tell you what, uh, start her out. This is a ten out of ten. Holy 10, shit! 10, I yeah. loved this book. This, this issue is amazing. Ruthless, like, and it just touches home the fact that it's the creative team of the Flash in Rebirth that we're reading, like yeah. the typical team. So, holy shit! This book was. I um, usually I'm I'm a big stickler for kind of just spoil. Batman's a killer in this book. Oh, yeah. One, written, he's a killer. Two, he actually does kill people. Holy, I was so excited reading this book. Yeah, I really liked it, too. There were a lot of good choices in it creatively. Like, uh, when Batman has uh, Barry strapped to his car, um, and he raises him to go to get take a speed force, and those panels kind of, like, move into the speed force, and, like, you, cl- you can see them, like, deteriorating into it. I thought that was pretty great. Oh, man. It was from beginning to end, uh, and it's weird to say because it's a flashbook, and I'm not trying to make a pun, but it was nonstop from beginning to end being, like, like Bamman's after Flash, takes his uh, speed force, comes into, uh, talks to, uh, um, no, kills... Um, Kills Riddler. Iris and um, Man- Wally. No, Wally. Did he kill him? Does he kill him? Well, they the turned end? old. He's taking like all the okay. Their yeah. life force. Yeah, because I knew he was killing all of uh, Batman. He was using the speed force to kill all of his. Villains. Yeah, he's coming to the normal Earth. Yeah. So I want to see is that going to tie into? Like- but supposedly he's a hero turned bad just because the way his world got fucked over. Yeah, and then you have the uh, is he called the Man Who Laughs? Or the bat who laughs. What's that guy? The, the guy bat guy? who laughs. The guy with the, the bat who laughs yeah. is convinces him to, hey, we can go to the world. Like the only reason why you're losing here is because we're meant to lose here. Like let's go somewhere where we're meant to win. So then they're going there to take it over, and he convinces him to come with him and help him. And uh, how this issue ends is like a cliffhanger that I was just like, uh, God, it was great. He laughs, and he's like. Uh, because, you know, he does the thing from Killing Joke. He's like, a one bad day could, uh, one, let me tell you a secret. All it takes is one bad day. One moment that should never happen and the ground beneath you starts to crumble. Trust me. I know firsthand all of us do. And then later on, he's like, so yeah, one bad day would kill a world. One bad week could kill a multiverse. And it's just like, this guy, I've only seen him, like, I hadn't read the Titans issue. I haven't read it yet either. I haven't read Titans but or But he Nightwing. showed up briefly in Metal 2 and then this book. And I'm terrified of this fucking guy. Yeah, well, like, think about, I mean, we all know it's Joker, right? Joker, Batman. What's up? Joker, Come on. Like, you got to be a moron not to realize. I it was Alfred oh, in the Batman. <laughs> Isn't that Alfred? <laughs> but it's just kind of like. It's not, no, it's okay. not, it's not Alfred. It's, no, so Alfred got so whenever they get to the Bat Who Laughs, Basically, it's going to be a story like this was a Batman who is so obsessed with being faster 
to save Gotham that he ends up making a martyr out of Gotham and the world. And so much so that he is, doesn't give a shit about Barry Allen that he's like, I need the speed force. You don't, you're not making good use of it. Like I can use this way better than you can. So I feel like the bat who laughs is going to be the Batman gets so like out of his mind that he knows that the Joker's like, right. Like my Joker's mission is his, it's going to be Martha Wayne Joker. (laughs) Because that's what that's it could. I mean that, but that's the way it came off. I know it's not. I'm guessing it's those are some pretty damn good dentures. Did yeah. you see? Uh, so it was confirmed somewhere. It might actually might be in that Titans as usual. Maybe spoilers for that Titan. But um, all those Robins that he has, they're just one. They're all Jason Todds from different multiverses, and that he just took, and they're all just Jason Todd. Rock on, and they're like they're that's like why they all look like the same. Uh, yeah. okay. They're all just Jason Todds. So he's got oh. different. To be fair, they always look like Damians. But well, they're, they're small. I, really, yeah. I mean, they're kids. You know what I love about this, too? Like, holographic cover? $3.99. Yep. You know what uh, Marvel would have charged for this? Five ninety nine, Guaranteed. <laughs> oh, but they did uh, announce the... By the way, so there's that Batman issue coming out, uh, Lost... What's it called? Do you know what I'm talking about? Lost. It's a tie, one of the tie-ins. Oh, there's... Bam. that. What do you know, the one thing I want to point out in this book that I made me smile so big is that Batman's using all of Flash's villains, rogues, weapons. Rogue weapons. Oh, oh to my. stop him? Yes. It was oh, so shit. good. He uses Mirror Masters, um, Captain Cold. I'm pretty sure I saw, um, what's the heat guy, Heat Wave? Uh, yep, Heat Wave. I was like, holy shit. And I saw he had um, Weather Wizard's. Staff. Staff. I was like, holy shit, dude, that is so bitchin'. And then when he goes and... Uh, Use Mirror Master's gun? <clears throat> no, it wasn't... Um, ah, shit. Captain Cold? Flat, no, uh, his Flash tells him, why are you using all my villains, rogues, weapons against me? And Batman just crashes through after he uses the Mirror Master to come through. It's like, yeah, my, my toys are way cooler. Like, holy fuck. Dude, this Batman's sweet. Well, like, taking I the Batman. the checklist was in there, but I guess not. No, it was in Metal 1. Are you talking about like the living weapon or whatever? Which no. one are you talking about? Anyway. <laughs> yeah. There's not that many ads in Wildstorm, I just noticed. There's only two. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but no, no, it's lost something. Anyways, it's supposed to be uh, Oliver Coppell, Olivia Coppell doing the art. Ooh, you know? yeah. Uh, he's not doing the art anymore. So maybe <laughs> temper your. your uh, it's yeah. like four different artists now because he couldn't, he couldn't keep up with it. Oh, well. Which is... Uh, Who's was, the writer? Um, Scott Snyder. Oh. Well. Um, it's like a spinoff. It's about... I don't know what it's... It's about Batman. You know, he gets lost. He gets lost, and that's how they get through. It's about that. What happens to him then? It's like basically like... I would say one of the probably tie-ins you're supposed to get. Right. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to bring up... Well, since Capel's not doing it anymore, it's going to be four ninety nine instead of three ninety nine because they added four artists, and I guess they made it bigger. So they, they decided to go from... So I just want to say that issue is going to be four ninety nine. But it's going to be bigger. But yeah, more issues. I mean, more pages. And you get... You're right, though. Like, this yeah. is a cover, special cover. Um, yeah. I mean, they did announce a while. They were all supposed to be four ninety nine. And DC's like, we want to reward our fans for being so great with Rebirth and like uh, helping us uh, sell out every month. So here we go. This whole thing is going to be three ninety nine. And cool of you, Fabak, to be on a cover. But let's get some interior art on one of these fucking books sometime soon. That'd be great. Canadian. He's too busy up there in the up north. Nah, he's he's not busy. Uh, this for me was a nine. You said ten. Yeah. What do you say? Ten. Okay. It was a it was a fucking roller coaster the whole way through. I say, like you said, I I could not stop reading this book and smiling. It was everything. I I mean, I I don't like Batman being a killer, but I was fine with it, knowing it's an alternate universe. Yeah, I really like. There's a part I thought Batman was a little cliche, but that's why it was a nine for me. But otherwise, I liked it. Mm-hmm. What do you mean, cliche? Just like with his mission. I mean, I think we've seen like that kind of Batman before, where he doesn't care to like kill, and he's like, you know what you just talked about before. Batman's his bat god. Oh, he killed all the rogues, and he obviously he's going to start stop the Flash and all this stuff. And yeah, maybe because in this universe he's willing to go to the end and not uh, cut himself short. Like Flash is not willing to stop Bruce and like kill him, but Batman's willing to kill Flash to get his force. Yeah, maybe that's why he cannot uh, smart the Flash. But still, I still think like. Flash is faster. You know what I mean? How yeah. is he getting caught off guard by that car? But I just, I, 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 that's just a general thing about mm-hmm. Batman that I don't like when people like make him this ultimate. Because he's Batman. Yeah. yeah. Like, especially like in Metal 2 when they were like, oh, we can't find Batman. It's like, 
All right. I'm pretty sure. But I see it as Flash. I mean, Batman's pulling all the punches. He's he's willing to cheat to win. Yeah, that's what I said. And so. It doesn't bother me that much. I mean, that's just a general thing about Batman. But Rumor has it based off this issue, like people are speculating that there will be another Earth. Like Obviously, all these Batman are from different multiverses. Yeah. That one of them might be Frank Miller's All-Star Batman. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I was like, fuck. Yeah, because he's more of a soldier than a hero. And you know why? He's a goddamn Batman. That's why. Uh, Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Dark Dark, Going from Dark Knight to Dark Ark. Written by Colin Bunn. Art by Juan Do. This is a story of a man (laughs) who instead... So Noah said, hey, it's going to rain for 40 days, 40 nights. Um, Build an ark. Put some animals on it. And this guy is told, basically, is it the devil? I'm I'm guessing it was the devil. And he's like, hey, you take all the unnatural creatures, you build an ark, or I'm going to fucking <laughs> damn you to hell right. and your whole family. And he's like, all right. And make sure that other ark stays alive, because if it doesn't, like we need some enemies in this world. There's and, nothing to terrorize. Well, there's, or, yeah, the, these beasts need to be fed, but they so, can't be fed right now. Uh, so he w- so it's basically an issue, basically introducing to the arc, introducing the character, the creatures on the arc, and that uh, plot point. What do you guys give it? I enjoyed we, it actually because I, I saw this on the forecast and I was like, "Hey, this sounds pretty cool." And then you guys, you decided to get it, and you decided to get it, and then we decided about to review it the last moment. I like that it's a creature book, like that it's like the eerie creatures, and I really loved fucking cool or Cole or whatever you say his name is. Like I thought he was cool, but huh? who? The lion thing. Oh, the oh, cruel the manticore. Yeah. Okay, it, it's cool. No, it's, it's not cruel. Cru- is it cru- cruel? Because cool. that's why it's ironic when oh, he's saying cruel. cruel. Okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, cruel. Oh, okay, but yeah, that guy was cool. No, he's not. He's not Mister Freeze. From cruel is cool. I'm cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Take these. Oh, by the way, the worst line in Batman Run because I just recently watched it. Take two of these and call me in the morning. That's it. <laughs> No. <laughs> are you, you going to be a doctor now? What happened? You're going to be Let's in jail. Let's kick some ice. <laughs> what a horrible movie. By the way, I was like, I was telling people, it's not that bad, man. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. It's kind of uh, campy. And I watched it. Horrible. Yeah. Um, back to dark art. <laughs> I um, I like the art. Art was good. Very art. macabre. Very dark. Yeah. And like very um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not realistic. People's faces obviously are a style of their own. Like the whole thing is a style of its own. But I can't really. Yeah, it, it very looks like a uh, whispery kind of like, mm-hmm. you know, we're in this world that like is not like I can't tell 100% what's going on, but I don't think I'm supposed to. There were, there were especially good, down in the, yeah, I'd say down in the depths with the monsters, the there, depths. Was, there weren't as many uh, fine lines as I would like to have seen. Fine lines, there we go. That's what I mean. There's no fine lines. Yeah, it's not really defined. So, that, like, the, the end of it was good. Coloring's like, good. Overall, this book was good. Um, I don't know what it was, but I almost felt uncomfortable reading it. Like when I read Gone Damned, didn't have a problem, but I think there's something about in the first part of the book where the harpy is flying over and sees the ark and is like, "Oh, let's go fucking eat these animals." I was like, you're a fucker. Leave them alone. <laughs> like I, I don't know what it was. Oh, you know what was a cool part of this book? I thought. So by the way, I actually did really like this book. It's a nice, cool concept. Yeah. Uh, it didn't blow me away, but it was enough for me to be like, "Hey, I'll check out too." Yeah. Um, I don't know. This is probably not ongoing. It's probably just a mini. I hope. I can't imagine mini. that it's an ongoing with this story. Forty issues, maybe. <laughs> um. It'd be cool if it was like a cool six or ten, yeah. but uh, the unicorns, like we, always, they always talk about. Hey, how come they didn't bring the unicorns on the ark? Yep. Because they're on this ark. Because they're mythical creatures. And, but they're not evil though. There's a, yeah, unnatural creatures, and so they're on this ark. And the they're uh, terrified. They're like, was it cruel or who else was it? That no, was it's like, the um, Mal. Was it Maldorn or Maldoom? It's the um, a gorgon. Thingy. So he tells them he's just like. Hey, you can't be weak on here, but they're gonna sense, sense that you're weak and they're gonna they're gonna kill you. Like man up, I mean a man up, unicorn up, and uh start acting like you're powerful again. And so like I thought that was really I just really cool that even though these are all unnatural creatures, they're not all evil. I don't no. know. But I don't know what the devil's selling but uh, they're, saving unicorns. But there's some evil guilds that are pissed at each other. Like the vampires. Oh yeah, so it's not all oh, that's the cliffhanger. And I really like that cliffhanger. That was like one thing could set these guys off and we're all gonna die if it happens and then you see yeah he's dead one of the uh monsters who was it i think it's a gorgon so it, i like what medusa the is. one that was fighting cruel yeah so but yeah now this is going to be like it's an interesting it's like a uh, time bomb yeah and then they also have humans on here that are being used to sacrifices they're the uh 
what do they call themselves? The damned or like the uh, forgotten or something like that. I forgot what they call. I don't themselves. remember. Yeah. But anyways, there's basically people like that. Really, people aren't going to miss. They brought them on just as sacrifices for these monsters, and like there's that uh, one of the one of his daughters. But those are the daughter. The, the daughter goes down to taunt to these one one. I'm going to sacrifice in particular, and the other sacrifices don't don't talk to her. Don't don't humanize each other. She's she's bringing a shit to eat. Yeah. I was like, well, okay. I like the father character that, like, his internal structure, like, I mean, <clears throat> internal structure, internal struggle. Your organs. Internal struggle is like, fuck, that other arc is so close, and we're, like, starving. Like, it would be so easy to just go yeah. fucking eat that whole shit. Yeah. So that was cool. So, yeah, definitely. But he, but he does tell the heartbeat, he goes, you're not pulling that shit. Yeah. There's a lot of interesting story threads and to see where it goes. So, yeah. like, it makes me interested for the rest. It doesn't make me, like... For sure, knowing that I'm going to continue to get this, it's just going to depend issue by issue. So it was right. like a nice eight. Yeah, I was say eight, as well. I was eight was I was where like, I was at. Oh, all right. Mm-hmm. Colin Bunn, pretty good. Yeah, not the, the, not the worst Colin Bunn book I've read. So I like him. Ideas, the idea is nice. Yeah, it was it was nice execution, and I thought quality wise. Oh, that's not the right one. Yeah, I was like, why are we looking at that book? <laughs> Quality wise, pretty nice. The covers, I mean, Marvel, you see this I didn't co- even see that cover. Marvel, you see this cover? Oh, I got the I like I got first. The, I, was like, oh, I like the, cool. the book cover, the ma- or the boat cover. Is this the real cover? No. It's oh, like the third variant. Forget what I said. Then. Second I say the main cover is just, just the dark arc mm-hmm. on the water. It was good. I liked it. Yeah. Cracking tentacles come out of it. So we got Department H, number 18, you're a fucker. Written by Matt Kent, art by Matt Kent, colors by Charlene Kent. Holy shit, I love that cover. That is that cool. one of my favorite covers. First off, something we noticed, or I noticed, when I was trying to find the creative team, I don't know why, it's not, it's changed since issue one. Yeah. Uh, no title page at all. It's just one whole issue of the story. Mm-hmm. Do we even need a title page? I really like this issue. Yeah, it was yeah. good. This issue, so a couple things happened here. Um... Is it Aaron? Right? Yep, Aaron. Says he has a cure. He's going to go up there by himself in a special suit. We saw him in the last issue being a creep, like putting on the seat and like slowly <laughs> back. Hi, guys. Uh, he's going to the surface because he says he has a cure, baby. He's going to save people. Uh, they're all in the, in the little pod. Guess what? Attacked by a uh, giant squid. First attacked by the talking spiders. Yeah. That's why they had, that's oh, why yeah. they had to leave. Uh, giant squid, and then they, they use all their power to get away from him, and then they fall to the bottom of the ocean and crack the windshield. No power. Water's coming in. Where do they go? And it's pretty frightening. Yeah. Like, yeah. At least for me, I was just like, ooh, like, what's going to happen? Are they going to get saved? And uh, Aaron tells about a story of um, Harry. Mia's, yeah, Harry, uh, Mia's father, about how they didn't agree on everything because he was a science man and he's a religious man about how we came to be on uh, planet Earth. And so there's a, he, they were having that discussion, being like, well, I've never seen anything come from nothing. And Harry's like, well, there's you know evolution, all this stuff, talking about it. He goes, I didn't kill your father, Mia. He's telling this on a one-way communication uh, while he's creeping up to the top, uh, saying, uh, and he tells him the story. Basically, he tell, tells Mia that he went to the thing. They're having a discussion. Next thing he knows, the water's coming out, and that's when he died. So, like, he was the last one to see him out of anybody there. But he said, hey, I didn't kill him. This is what I know. Right. Just I believe. Case. I kind of believe him. But at the same point, I'm like. The same point, the though. Group. Now, yeah. he, there's a little motive there mm-hmm. because they didn't agree on everything. Uh, but he said, he goes, I didn't kill him. I liked him. And when he, I, he went in there and he came back out. I think the more I read this book, I'm trying to figure out who's got the motive to kill. And so far, the only one that makes sense is the um, the friend who wants uh, wheelchair? Yeah, wheelchair. Who wants his, wheelchair from wants mo- yeah. wheelchair from day one? Uh, Garrett has said that is the killer. It's got to be. I swear to God, if I see, I mean, the girl is definitely a good accomplice. Whatever her name is. Um. Yeah. What's her name? Blondie. Blondie. <laughs> I'm just make up our own character. Names. Wheelchair. Blondie. Dead guy. Art. I thought was great in this issue. Oh, Coloring art especially. Was really good. Yep. This is actually uh, one of the best looking issues. Did you both read the letters page? There wasn't any. Yes, there was. Right there was there. just letters. Did you read in between the letters where Matt Kent's talking and gives a plot device about what we're not going to see until the end of the series? No, but you can tell me. He said that, you know how we're getting so close to the surface? We won't see the surface till the end of the series. Oh. 
Wow, did he say how long the end of the series is? Nope. That's some bullshit because I saw I see the uh, such surface right here on the last page. It's not the surface. Oh, saw it. <laughs> is this uh? Well, they do show the surface here. That's in the flashbacks, though. Yeah, that's flashbacks. Oh, it's flashbacks. Yeah. So, no, no, no. so I get that. It's pretty. Right. I mean, intense way to start a book. There's a quarantine area. People are trying to escape, pushing each other against the fence. Get they shot. climb over the fence. They get yeah. shot. Pop, pop. Oh wait, wait. You're talking about in the first part of the book. Yeah. I assume they're showing you. Yes, the current stuff. That's what I said. Current. Yeah, I'm. But uh, those people aren't. There. It's definitely seems like things are getting way more intense. So it's like, I feel like this could last another five, ten issues. It could last longer. There could be something else that changes it. But I'm like, they're so close to the surface. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that could change is if, like, the fucking government, like, sends a huge cage over their ship and it's like, you're staying fucking down there. Here's some air and some food. Yeah. That was a nice By the way, this should be commodity challenge right here. What? This should be commodity challenge. There's some crazy shit that happens that mm-hmm. I'm left going, how are you going to get out of this? It should not be, like, commodity challenge then. I'm I, just I saying, it, I'm saying just fall. I was like, <laughs> yes, but they fell, but at least they fell and landed somewhere. They That's can't true. fall anymore. I really like this book. Um, this one was, like, an eight for me. Yeah. This book is a nice, like, solid 8 to 9 to 10 sometimes, but yeah. it depends. i tell you what. I No, maybe a 9. I really I, like this issue. I'm sorry, mine's a 9. I, I like this issue a lot. The only thing that could have pushed this over is uh, more of it. I, the beginning part, I think, could have been left out, that quarantine thing. Yep. And uh, even at the end, the, of- the cliffhanger is they're sitting on the bottom of the water or of the ocean. I was like, oh, I mean, I, I get, yes, that's fucking scary, but it wasn't as scary as that. Um, octopus continually grabbing at him. I thought, holy shit, dude. Look. I would have rather the quarantine scene ever been shown because I was all hoping that like it was like a scare, like some yeah. there was like an exposed something, but that it like had dissipated. And so they were doing all this shit, like hiding from the surface just to get up there and be like, oh, it's fine now. But whatever, can't do that for everything. Yeah. I haven't held it for a while. I know you've been, you've been like we are. But uh, like for some reason, my uh, volume won't stay loud. So we're going to call this baby close tonight. We're going uh, handheld, baby. Oh, I, I got to go handheld for this game anyway. So. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, what else we get, buddy? Well, just uh, fuck, I don't even know how to transition League. after that. Justice League. Holy shit. <laughs> Black Hammer number 13, written by Jeff Lemire, art by Dean Ormston, colors by Dave Stewart. By the way, previous role, once again, let me down. This is not Dave Rubin. Uh, yeah, I was like. It nope. is Dean came back. Because I was like, oh, oh Rubin's still on yep. it? Uh, what a bunch of liars. Whoever runs Diamond's website, They've got they're a, good on what books are coming out, but everything else, fucking horrible. They've been slacking lately, yeah. Um, th- well, we never talked about the last issue. I just want to bring it up real quick because I didn't read it tonight. That last issue was so good. It was pretty... Dave Rube, I like his art. What a book, the other book does he do? Ether. Ether. His art's so great. It He's doing so the miniseries. Good. So this is the last issue before a break. Um, but we get Sherlock Frankenstein. But we get a mini series about yeah. yeah Sherlock that Ruben's doing the art for. So I'm mm-hmm. actually looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, this issue, I thought also was really great. Mm-hmm. I liked it a lot. This series is pretty great. Like, did we mention this as a new series to people to pick up? I don't. I don't, know, sure. I don't remember if we did or not. Black Hammer is I th- worth. I feel that. like we did. I know we had in previously, but I don't know if we did the last time we talked. About I would it. imagine like we would have. I mean, if we didn't, Black Hammer get black hammer <laughs> like, it's so good like it's superhero but right. like there's 13 issues of what's been going on you like no other kind of you need to know right 13 issues we're gonna have a mini series come up here but there's an annual there's an annual uh but it's not just 13 issues of superheroes it's 13 issues of real people who are superheroes like yeah. they're going through some shit uh even that black hammer issue where he's like when when the what's his daughter's name Lucy. Lucy. Lucy Weber. Lucy right. in the sky. Uh, finds the uh, hammer. Uh, with her dad's dead particles. Yeah. <laughs> with his dad what? I said you said Lucy in the sky with her dad's dead particles. Oh. He, she finds the headquarters and turns on the thing and he talks to her, hey, if you're seeing this, I'm dead. Uh, destroy everything. Like, don't become me. Like, I wasn't around for you enough because I was doing this. I was too busy with that that I missed out on, on us. Uh, don't be like me. Live your life. And she's like, no. I'm going to come find you. I know you're out there. And uh, that's how she got where she is now. Uh, but, but that Dr. Uh, doctor, uh, Sherlock Frankenstein book is going to be that story of right, her, her trying to figure to out. Right, to where we're at now. How she got from that point to wherever they are now. By the way, now I'm thinking. I'm thinking about this. I'm where they're at now. 
So they defeated the anti-god. Like he punched and boom, big flash, and then they were all gone. Are they in some anti-universe? You so then, um, well, you know, the one thing about this issue that it took a different turn than I was expecting. I thought it really was going to be their fight against anti-god. Mm-hmm. In all honesty, yeah. it was just watching them get zapped away. There was a brief. I mean, he. Yeah, I know he that he up. shows up, but it's not. You don't. It's not a whole big duel throughout the whole book. It's. It's a lot of really good just storytelling. I wonder yeah. if, like, yeah, maybe it'll flash back to that fight and the end of that flashback. Maybe it'll take a couple issues that uh, we'll see how they get sent to this place. It's more of an issue of, like you said, the lead up to it. I love that scene when they show up and Abe's like, why am I here? Like, I can't fight thugs on the streets anymore. And uh, um, what's his name? Isn't it? Barbellion. Barbellion. I was, was going to say Martian Manhunter. Um Probably is John. He's like, you're the heart of this team. Like, we need you here to motivate us to go out there and kill them. He goes, you're right. If we're going to die, I'm going to go out fighting. He's like, let's do this. Are you in? And like everybody says they're in. Uh, and I thought that was a really great moment. Mm-hmm. Being like, this dude who knows he's going to die, there's no way this guy survives or does anything. He's not going to be able to do anything against this huge guy thing. But he's like, you're right. Let's go out there. Let's do our thing. Well, he's the glue that holds everybody together. Let's so. be a hero. And then the uh, doctor, what's his name? Jeez, I'm horrible fucking names, by the Sherlock way. Sherlock Frankenstein? No, no, no. The uh, friend of uh, Black Hammer. The guy, old guy who gives Lucy the key. Oh, that's last issue. Yeah, I, don't remember, I don't I don't remember his name from last issue. But he says in the last issue that he saw Abe run in. Like, he was going to, he was like, going to put on a suit and go fight Antichod with them. But he was like, who am I? Like, I'm so old. I'm not going to be able to do that. And then he saw Abe, and he's like, Abe's my age. And he goes, that's what made Abe so great. He never stopped and said, Oh, I can't do this. He just ran in. Literally, as you know, though, like Abe said, I can't do this. And it wasn't be, it wasn't until they all were like, no, let's do this. Like, you're the heart of this team. And he's like, yeah, you're right. Like, it's that whole team that like motivated him to go. And what a, uh, what a great, I thought, transition. Them running into battle, like all of, like ready to go. Yes, we have a purpose. We're going to go kill this anti-god, turn the page, and they're all just sitting at the table being like, mm-hmm. they, have, they have no will to... Uh, continue on in this world anymore like they're all just like depressed yeah and out of it and it's really a great book that's like examining like what it means to be a hero but also like what does it mean when you lose everything uh and all you have left is just those people on that team like well, they live the only reason why that team works is because they're fighting bad guys and they're heroes yeah but when you really take it down to it are they really all friends not really mm-hmm. are they really family not really they try to be i i i believe um Barbie, Gale, and Abe, they're they're a pretty solid family. But Madame Dragonfly. That's what I mean, but you like it's like them being dis- it's like a defun- dysfunctional family. They're right. trying it. But I mean, like I don't think that was their pre them coming to this world. Like how long have they been here? For a while, right? They've been here like for a while. Fourteen years. But but even in their other universe when they were friends, I mean they were they were friends as Golden Gale and Don't you part <laughs> I mean, I don't know why. I just need to do it. Um, but no, when, they're, when, when they get when they get called to fight anti god, yeah. I actually believe that those three were our friends outside of. But I mean, like, what, what is doing. it that holds them together? What really kept them that as dome friends? that they're in? That's what keeps them together. <laughs> but I mean, pre that, it was them having powers and like yeah. having the choice of being together. Now that they're stuck together, like they really like Abe and you said Gale, you think they're close, but they really did hate each other for a while. In this book, at the beginning, remember they hate each other, and they finally came back together. Well, I'd hate you guys too if I stuck with you all the time. But I mean, I like it. That it's, it's nice just uh, examining these relationships between them. Well, the one part Ooh. that I thought was really drastic was in the middle when they're in front of uh, the Thor god, o- yeah. Odin's, whatever, fuck. And basically, all these like side characters of like mini teams that we've met throughout the series, like in the annual and thing, realize that they're all dead. Yep. That they went that up was against like, Anti God and they were killed. Yeah, like Golden Gale's, like her whole family's like dead. Yeah, or her whole team. And I was like, "Fuck, that's yeah." Brutal. He's like, "Where are they?" And he's like, "They're all dead." You think I'm calling you because you're my first choice? Yeah, like you're all that's left. Uh, also, two things we didn't mention: um, cliffhanger. Yeah, I mention that with the cliffhanger. But first, Abe is giving a question for the sheriff's death or disappearance. We don't know the death yet. Um, and then Madame Dragonfly shows up and tells him all, "Hey." Uh, basically uh, zaps their mind. It's like Abe is he's not a suspect. Innocent. Yeah, he's innocent. Uh, tell him sorry for bugging you, and then they he gets she gets him out of there, 
And she, he's like, you can't do that. And she goes, yeah, I can. And I can do I did. whatever the hell I want. I can do whatever I want. And then the end, Lucy picks up the hammer, turns into black hammer, and says, yeah, I remember everything. And so, like, the next issue, by the way, we have a break now, so it's like. Yeah. I know. I But holy shit, I loved how she looked as black hammer. It was great. Um, For a second there, I thought she had, like, thrown that. I mean, I didn't know if the hammer was, like, Thor's hammer. Like, only one person can pick it up. Yeah. I thought, I assumed that she took the hammer and fucking broke the dome or something. But still, it's cool that she's black hammer. So she has all the memories of black hammer. So yeah. we'll see when the next issue comes out what she remembers. Dude, I think this this was a, a another ten for me, by the way. Ten, not a ten. I'd give it a nine. I didn't think it was the greatest issue I've read. I still love that fucking issue of Golden Gate. The last one beating was really up that good. robot. I remember that. I'll issue. give it a nine too. The last issue I would have given it a ten. Last issue was that the one where she's discovering her dad's yeah. layer and stuff? Yeah, that was fucking amazing. Ten. That was one shit. <laughs> Those are the books for this week. We have uh, Generation Gone, number three. Black Hammer, number 13. We have uh, Wildstorm, number seven. We have Black Batman, the Red Death, number one. We have Department H, number 17. 18. 18. I knew I was going to mess up one of these times. Uh, we have Dark Arc, number one. And one more. I thought you got them all. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I know. I think I, I love that variant yeah. cover. You yeah. say Wildstorm? Yeah. Yes. Great books this week, I thought. Because I've been in the forecast. I was like, hey, not much coming out. But the, those books were solid. Well, tomorrow tomorrow I'm going to read all the other number ones I got, like Scales and Scoundrels, um, Angelic. I think I got two other books I just I want to read just to know if they're good. Hey, and we got other books that we get. Uh, get do you guys read Batman? Not yet. No. Well, get ready for Batman. Um, that gasolina number one is getting a lot of good reviews. Gasolina. Mm, I don't know. No, I. It was one. Did of you things. get it? No. No. Oh, I didn't. He, I like the art, so I didn't get it. He and I looked at it multiple times, and it's like I want, like I want to be a part of this people to get it, but then I also go, no, I need to know when not to get it. So I'm fine missing out on this book. Yeah. Uh, speaking of needing to know, here we go. Game time. Give me my bell. Um. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> we are gonna play a game. By the way, Steal I'm not it, even gonna. I'm not even gonna. Um. What does that mean? You got some reminders on here. You better tell Alicia she got some reminders. Um, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna because I love it so much. I'm not even gonna lie. This is a whole. Say, game. I'm not gonna. Uh, one more time. Uh, I'm not even gonna. Uh, <laughs> I'm stalling because I got to pull up this fucking thing. Um, not even gonna lie. This uh, whole game structure is uh, stolen from Billy on the Street. It's a great show. Uh, this. So I'm gonna name this segment. It's called Marvin on the Mic. What did we do? I said give me the bell and then you move back. I moved it out of the way. You didn't know what you're gonna do with your uh, tablet. Here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna have three rounds. First round, uh individually, like the first section of the first round is just for Garrett, and then the next one's for you. Um you I'm not gonna tell you the well, I'll tell you the point structure. The first one is in order to win the round, the first round it's worth ten points. But in order to win your section of the round, you have to get a majority of them right. Same thing. And then the next one is a time segment. So somebody can be my uh, timer. And uh, that depends on how many you get, like you give me. I'll explain more when we get there. And then the last round is only for one of you. So whoever has the highest score at the time goes into the final round. And I'll explain how that works also. But here we go. So this one, oh, you're going to explain it. Okay. So this game is called... Uh, there's going to be two different ones. This is the majority one. This you is only why, answer, I only answer. Yeah, this is first off for Garrett. So this, okay, so it's just for me. Now. This right now is just for Garrett. Just for Garrett. 30 seconds on the time clock. First uh, round is 30 seconds. Oh, Connor Hawk. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> yeah. Uh, not yet. Well, he's got to ask the question before you start the timer, jackass. He just cut oh, me off some work. time. Oh, that's cool. Don't press. Do I've phone? never used it before. Oh. Do you have your phone on silent or not? Yeah. You should turn off silence so it can ring. Turn it off. So it can no yeah, turn off. Silence. Or just slap the shit out of that bell after thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so here's how it works. The first uh for you, it's called Green Arrow, Green Lantern. How it works, I'm gonna tell you a fact or a question. You have to answer either Green Arrow if you think it's Green Arrow, Green Lantern if you think it's Green Lantern, okay? No am I, t- am I timing this one though? Thirty seconds. For every single question or just one? No, just thirty seconds. I'm gonna ask you uh a, a series of qu- of Questions, you see how much you can get in 30 seconds. Burn. So don't take 50 years on an answer. Here we go. Okay. Ready? Go. Ready, go. Uh, their middle name is Jonas. 
Green Lantern. Incorrect. At one point, is missing an arm and helps Batman. Green Arrow. Correct. Home planet is Oa. Green Lantern. Correct. Started in 1940. Green Lantern. Correct. Considered left of the political spectrum. Green Lantern. Incorrect. Green Arrow. Oop, sorry. <laughs> Appeared in all American comics number 16 for the first time. Green Arrow. Oh, nope. Green Lantern. Jade was once a... Green Arrow. Incorrect. Green Lantern. Done. That was hard. How many did you get right? Three. Three? All right. That wasn't a majority because... Uh, Three of them, so no 10 points for you in the first round, but you could get points in the second round and move on. And also, he could get uh, nothing in this one. Uh, Alex, 30 Ready. seconds on the clock. Yep. Yours is called Captain Britain or Captain America. Here we go. You know a lot about Captain Britain. Ready? You're, you're an aficionado. Ready? Sure. <laughs> Ready, go. Was one written by Alan Moore? Uh, Captain Britain. Correct. Jack Kirby helped create him. Captain America. Correct. Has had 13 people have his this title. Captain Britain. Incorrect. Has had a title with MI-13 in the title. Ooh, Captain Britain. Correct. Yes. Uh, Brian Braddock has been... Oh, shit. Uh, Britain. Captain Britain. Yes. Uh, Steve Rogers is... Captain America. Uh, Ken Fly. Okay, time. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Yours were easy, too. Don't even... You give the name of the actual heroes. I don't get Hal Jordan is, Oliver Queen is. You would have got gets. there if you answered quick enough. <laughs> wow. That's why it's time, baby. Five, five points. Here's the rest Which of yours. not the majority. Has had a famous rebirth by Johns. Their sidekick was addicted to heroin. Yeah, you didn't get there, baby. You got to answer quick. How many did you get? Five. I had five. Five. Which is not the majority. Which is not a majority shooting else to get points. So. Well, that's fine. But I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't because you didn't get any points. Zero oh, points for round one for both of you. At a whole hand. <laughs> Um, put 60 seconds on the clock, please. Garrett. Billy on the street, you're stupid. You're going to go first. <laughs> what? He put 59 seconds. He almost cheated you out. I just yeah, no, why, why won't it let me do 60? I suppose I need to do a whole minute, don't I? <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> That's 60 seconds. Why well, keep doing 60 and I won't let it? Okay, ready? Well, what's going on? Same uh, thing? In this round, you get 60 seconds. I'm going to tell you something. You got to give me uh, as many as you can. With this criteria. Uh, so in 60 seconds, I'll tell you, and then after I tell you, you can start it. Uh, name as many heroes as you can that have man in their name. Go ahead. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Um, oh, shit. Uh, Power Man. Uh, don't ring that bell at fucking Jesus. <laughs> um, fuck. Aquaman. Stop it. I can't think when you do that. Fucking. Oh, fuck. How am I not doing this? Um, fuck. I can't think of anything now. That fucking psyched me out. Surely it's the bell. Uh, I know. I don't know why I'm drawing blanks now. <laughs> How many does he have so far? Five. Flashman. Uh <laughs> <laughs> We've done yeah. Batman, Spider Man. Finally, thank you. I'm just uh, this is the one I play. Come on, Ant Man. Uh, fuck this. Uh, Watchman. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Watchman. Done. Uh, fucking red, blue. Seven. Seven points. You get seven points. There we go. I shouldn't laugh because I know mine's gonna be super shitty too. Where I'm gonna get stuck, but. Nope, won't let me right there. No, we'll just remember he got seven points. Oh, here we go. Name me off some more, unless that's going to give him an advantage. Uh, Martian Manhunter. That's not man in the end. It's man in the title. I didn't say at the end. Has man in their name, I said. Man Beast. You seven points, you said? Man Thing. If I knew that, then I w- <laughs> No, don't pretend like you would have gotten... He gave me five seconds of the rules and said, go. Okay, so same yeah, thing. Yeah, but we'll see what he's got. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's humans. I'll see Alex, it's sixty seconds. Name as many image titles as you can. Holy shit! Ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, saga, deadly class. Oh shit! Pretty deadly. It is really tough. Hang on. East of West. Uh, Make sure to show them the time because I think it ruins it. Just like if you, you were like, oh shit. That's four points. Holy shit! Dude. I know that fucking uh, generation's bell. gone. What else do we get? Uh, shirtless bear fighter, Huck. You counting those? I think I'm, you have six. I think. 
Well, I'm just, are you counting those things, the Miller things? If it's an image title. I'm just making sure. Jupiter's Legacy Volume 1, Jupiter's Legacy Volume 2, That's Jupiter's just Circle. Yeah. But Jupiter's <laughs> Circle. So it's another one. Um, Nine points. Holy shit. What else do I get? Hey, I give you one. Give me one. <laughs> <laughs> you give it to him afterwards. No, you give him Spider Man after. Kick ass. Kick ass. Boom. We got another but did one. Did you give him Spider Man before? No, I gave him While the, you're to give him six. No. Oh, okay. I'm fine with that. I did pretty good. Time. Ten points. Yeah, let's slide it. Fine. Seven points, ten points. Uh, it's pretty hard when you're on the clock, baby. Can you ring that fucking bell? I'm going to throw it across the room. <laughs> Like I said, surely it's six hours later. Uh, surely it is the bell. <laughs> Draw fucking blanks. And by the way, you can't be mad that these are aren't hard questions when I literally told you before we started these aren't hard questions. Like before the social started. To be fair, but they are kind of hard. But like if he had given me the one your first round, I would have known shit other than the obvious things. Yeah. Oh, and all that. I would. And also, that. yeah. To be fair, I thought you knew more about those two. I don't think he. Th- I think he thinks I know about Captain Britain. I don't. I know. I. Clearly, pick things. Well, no, no, I thought you would at least. You, I thought you knew Captain America. You could figure out the things I don't know about Captain America. Britain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, How long fu- you got for this one? Uh, no, no time. Okay. Oh, you have no. Actually, there'll be time, but it'll be in my head. It's I'll, just Alex, right? I'll move on when I want to move on. Yeah, it's uh, Alex. He was the winner of us uh, the whole thing because because you name his favorite universe. Uh, <laughs> titles. All the shit. That I- <laughs> Any other universe would have been way easier than Image. But like you said, it's hard when you're on the clock going, oh, my God. He only got the- 10, and he gets more than 10. That's so how you get probably at least 20. Didn't even mention, uh, you know, Seven to Eternity. Uh, Tokyo Ghost. I could have done, Str- could I have done Strange Girl. Of course, it's Image. Turtles. Original was Image. Final round. Here's how it works. Um, uh, you could lose and lose the whole th- kit and caboodle. Does that mean I win? Um, means nobody wins. I win. <laughs> So here's yeah, how it works. Lost. There's going to be three rounds okay. in the final round. Um, if you get two questions in a row wrong, I'm out. You're out of the game. Okay. Per round. Okay. okay. There's three questions per round. Oh, three I, rounds, three questions. There's uh, first two rounds are three questions. The last round is one question. Okay. If you get the last last question wrong, the whole thing is over. Oh really? Yeah. Shit. Um. Here we go. Start, 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 start. Final round. Start the clock. <clears throat> in my head. Uh. Uh. This book it. Is written by Jeff Lemire. Is it X- XX County, Department H, AD, or Amazing Spider Man? AD. Final AD? Answer. Final answer? Locked in. Locked in? That's incorrect. He doesn't write uh, AD. He writes Essex County. Never heard of One it. wrong. Get the real. <laughs> like in this. Only one more to get wrong in this round. Wait, he has to get it wrong in a row? Yeah. No, just two. Oh, just two wrong. Yeah. I thought it was two wrong in a row. No, just two wrong. You did I say was, two wrong in a row. I know. Did I? Okay. Yes. I meant two wrong. Okay. In a round. In a round. Yeah. In a row. Fuck so you got to get through the round and get to the next yeah. one. So you yeah. have two, two more questions. Dante's right. Inferno. Got it. The Green Lantern Corps does not include Hal Jordan, Gr- uh, Guy Gardner, John Stewart, or Jeff Johns. Does not include Jeff Johns. Uh, correct. One point. There you go. See, not hard questions. Not hard questions. The weird thing is that it, it, you don't... Oh, my God. I got to think about it. If I had Superman's later vision, you know, it would be the first <laughs> thing I'd fucking blow up. Uh, last question of the first round. Ultimate Peter Parker died at the hands of A, the Punisher, B, Captain America, C, Green Goblin, or D, Mysterio. Oh, shit. I'm going to go with uh, Green Goblin. The Green Goblin. Is you sure about Green Goblin? Yeah, you didn't think about the Punisher. No, I know it's not the Punisher. Or Mysterio. And he that, was in that Spider-Man book. So like, shut up. Important. I'm going to go with C. I'm willing to take the risk. C, Green Goblin. It's like the Punisher was in that issue and he like shot him. So like he might have died. Okay. I'll give you that hint. I'm, I'm still going to go with Green Goblin. Green Goblin, correct answer. There you go. Punisher did shoot him. Though. He did so shoot I'm, him. I'm he sure he did. Down. I'm it's just saying one. that. He contributed to that murder. But, <laughs> but he's not the final kill shot. Uh, that's the end of the first round. You made it through. Let's reset that uh, error clock. <laughs> what, do you want me to fucking knock you? I know. He's like, all right, buddy. Yeah, I fucking lost. I, th- I thought you'd be excited that at least I didn't suck. You lost. We're against Marvin. Now. I'm excited that you lost one point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to an easy question. Oh, I forgot. You do have time. You do have, uh, if you get stuck on an answer. I forgot about this. You could have, the first one. Well, you, know, you, you were confident that first thing. I, was, I, I knew that he was a part of if it. If you get stuck, you can either. Uh, Punch you can Garrett? Either, what? Punch Garrett. <laughs> You can either uh, have a thumb war with me if you win, you win the question. You can <laughs> you can uh, ask me to act out the answer, I'll act it out. Or you can ask Garrett, but 
he has to tell you uh, one of the wrong answers, not the right answer. Oh. So, so it's kind of like a. Those are, the, those are those your uh, lifelines. Okay. Second round. Don't use me. <laughs> yeah, no, you're going to fuck me over and tell me the real thing. <laughs> Negan first appeared in The Walking Dead in issue what? Is it 50, 100, 125, or 7,000? <laughs> Please guess 7,000. Like, that's the real answer. 125. You don't know they might have done a special uh, issue. I'm willing 7, to take 000? 125. You're willing to take 125. You don't want to take these, time, these lifelines I just told you about? No. You don't want to, like... Maybe think about it for a second. You're saying 125 off the bat. I'm going to say 125. 125 is your answer for Negan. That's incorrect. One error. There you go. It's 100. Is it 100? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Glenn dies. Spoilers. That's oh. when he dies. Is it 100? Yeah, he does. <laughs> Alex is one Did trade. you know that? He's one no. trade in. I just realized. <laughs> he doesn't. I'm saying spoilers well, know, to the camera. I know, I know Glenn dies. But he doesn't know. <gasps> but I didn't know he came in 100. Yeah, 100. He's been in there for... What 125 is like... We're close to 125 right now. Remember when we did that Rainbow commercial and you oh, see yeah, me right. almost beating Marvin's head in? You know what he's hiding behind? Issue 100. Yeah. Issue 100. Really? That giant size one, yeah. I didn't think it was that long ago. Yeah. I think he's been around for 71. Shit. Huh. Crazy. <laughs> Here we go. It's not 178, is it? It's 171. You could have used the lifeline. I could have acted it out. You okay. could have thumb-wrestled me. No. Nah. You could have uh, asked him and he would give you yeah, a Yeah, those giraffe answer. thumbs had to be Marvin's. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Free comp days always on what? The first Sunday in March, the first Saturday in May, the first Wednesday in May, or the last day of the year? First Saturday in May. Now, once again, these life ones are Fuck you. Of, you can use them. <laughs> first Saturday in May. You could think about it for a second. Why is all these off the cuff and then you lose one? You lost 125. Yeah, and I lost the first one the first time. But considering I'm there with him in the morning... That might be the last time on the, the first year, Saturday know. in April. Shit, first Saturday in May. April on this. Okay. To be fair, April was first an Saturday in April. Here we go. First Saturday in May. You got it. Remember, one left to lose, and you lose the whole thing. Yeah, and I'll think it through. What are my options for lifelines? You acting out, thumb wrestle. He gives me one. Ink. Hey, if he gives me the right answer and lies to me, can I get it automatically for him lying to me? <laughs> Why this? <laughs> no, he'll just. <laughs> He's going to tell you what he thinks is the wrong answer. He might give you the right answer. You don't know. You just got to believe what he says. Oh, fuck. Well, then what use is he? He's a like, no shit. What's the use of me acting it out? Who knows? I know. Well, like, how are you going to tell Bruce me Bruce Wayne <laughs> is not Captain America. <laughs> Final question. Okay. The mighty Thor once transformed into a man. His name was Donald Craig, Donald Boone, Donald Blake, or Donald Duck? Shit. Donald Blake. Final answer. Once again, quit being off fuck the cuff you. here. <laughs> It could be Donald Duck. You don't know. And, uh, well, I'm pretty sure he's not a duck. That's the final question of the round or the final question of the game? Of the this round. round. Okay. No. Blake. Uh, Donald Blake. Do you, you don't want to thumb wrestle? Dude. <laughs> do I get these questions at the end? Yeah, I'm locking in. <laughs> Donald Blake, that's correct. Get past the second round, barely. I don't know why I'm not good at the first question. <laughs> what was the other one? No. You read AD. You, didn't, you thought it was written by Jeff Lemire? Dude, I didn't read the third part yet. <laughs> Clearly, but also very when we read the first two. Didn't really read the first two. He skipped like half the book. Yeah. So any pros. I just got it. I just got it to have it. He can't actually read. He just looks at the pictures every week. (laughs) Spoilers. Uh final question. This is round is different. This is I'm gonna ask you a question. Final question of the game or the final round? Final question of the of the game. Once again, this one though, if you lose it, you're out of the whole thing. Yep. You lose the whole thing and I win. You know why? Because this last question is my subjective answer. So it's going to be my opinion. Oh, sh- well, th- how, how am I supposed to win that? Well, I have an opinion. What do so, you mean? Who's the host of Billy's Garage Kid or whatever? Is that like his dad? Billy Garage Kid. What are you kid? talking about? Billy on the street? It's Billy. Billy. On the block. He's the host? Yeah. Uh, if it came down to it, final question, by the way. Yep. Did I mention that? <clears throat> do, I, do I get lifelines on this one too? I thumb wrestling. Negan first appeared in. No. 100. Issue yeah, 100. Uh, if, if it came down to it, why did you think they reprinted 100? Just because they was like, oh. Hey, what was the cover of 100? Was that it the was old Negan lady? on the cover. With Negan on the cover, yeah. I thought oh, it was no, an old lady. The big one was Negan on the cover holding yeah. Lucille. Oh, really? I don't remember that. I thought that would have been a bigger thing, but I guess I wasn't into... What do you mean? It was issue 100. It's a big deal. Yeah, but why don't I remember that? I, who's the old lady? What cover is she on? She's on 100. It's a, it's a Frank Quietly uh, variant. I have, okay. that, I have that cover. Okay. Wait, you mean a hundred's more important than fifty-two? Hmm. <laughs> hundred four. I think you mean one of four. Yeah. Uh, if it came down to it, and I can only pick up two books a month, what two books would I get? Just kidding. I would get Deadly Class and what other book? 
Would it be probably kill or be killed because I like the team and it's a good story. Maybe Saga as Fiona Staples is killing it. Batman because I got to keep up with the bat. Or mostly definitely Captain America as he's my favorite character. What yeah. is no lifelines in this last one? <clears throat> I, I guess I took him away. So yeah. are those, okay, those four things you gave me are actually the legitimate those are the answers. answers. Those are legitimate answers. Yeah. Okay, just, you never know. You might be pulling shit on me. Is it so? I would get Deadly Class and one other book if it came down to it. Who knows? Gun to my head. Probably kill or be killed because it's I like the team. It's a good story. Maybe Saga as Fennel Staples is killing it. Batman because I got to keep up with the bat. Or most definitely Captain America because he's my favorite character. Which one is it? This is a good question. If it came down to it. I'm glad my balls don't just stick to my thigh. <laughs> bad boy. God. This is, I have to admit, this is a, a tough, tough question because I'm just trying to think of where would you come from. You gave me great responses of Fiona Staples was killing it. That's true. But I also know that uh, even though you still liked Saga, it wasn't always the Jeez, best. I wish yet. Oh, no, I actually didn't mark the answer. It's in my head. Of course. What the fuck yeah. Yeah, so you didn't type it down. I just make it So subjectively, you. you could just change your answer? No, I know my answer. <laughs> okay. Obviously, I have an answer, but I just mean... Uh, can I Can I ask one question? No. Of- in what fucking game show can you ask a question to get a better advantage? You always ask to hear the question repeated seven times. Okay, you can repeat the question. Repeat the question, then. If it came down to a gun to my head. I don't need that. I just want, I wanted to know... I just want to know if, like... I'm on current, the streets. If it's current writing team, or is it based on character for two of those characters? I said if it came down to it. That means so if I take the gun out of my back and I point it at you, will you tell me the answer? That means right now. Like if it came down to it right now. Obviously, Saga's out right now. Killer B Kill's out right now. Uh, Deadly Class is out right now. No, I mean 50 years in the past. Well, I didn't mean that. I just meant like if... Anyway. Basically, Marvin's penis is about to be shot off unless he gives an answer about what book he's getting with Deadly Class. Which one would it be? I'm going to go with Batman. You're going with the bat. Batman because I had to keep up with the bat. That's your final answer. That's my final answer. Can I do another answer just for funsies? Yeah, go ahead. And see which one's yours? Killer be killed. Probably killer be killed because I like the team and it's it's a good story. Good story. Now what you choose? That's his answer. No, I know. Okay, well, I don't know <laughs> if that's what you're telling him. And the, my answer is. You know what? Probably kill or be killed because it's a good story and uh, the team's killing it. So, <gasps> oh, this good game team. was made for me. That I is lost. not really because that first round <laughs> fucked you. Over, I said bitch. I lost, motherfucker, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you know what I told him that last final round? All those questions, like I was like, "Wow, Garrett's gonna get all these if he gets to the final round." Because I, for some reason, was uh, just writing it for Alex, and I was like, "Wow, these are all Garrett will get these if he gets it." So you know what tripped me up also in that first round, saying green, and then I had to think of wait, did I think Green Lantern first or Green Arrow? Yeah. I was like Green. Yeah, that was the point of that Lantern first round. for Captain Captain, Captain Britain, yeah. and then also uh, that second round, it's you know easy to come up with that stuff when you have time, but when somebody's like name this in thirty uh, sixty seconds, you're like off, oh, like it right away. I know. I was like gone. Man. Well, good game. Uh... Looking at your winner right here. Everybody's a winner in my book. So. Marvin, on the, <laughs> Marvin on the block. Uh, Marvin in the street. I don't get it. Mature <laughs> to, uh, you know, this is a good week of books, but uh, let us know what you got. Was it comic 605? At gmail.com. I haven't done in a couple of weeks. Uh, let us know on Twitter at Wednesday Comics, uh, at Garot 2188. So at Garot? Still. Uh, at Alex Pastralo. Also, find him for your latest uh, news from last year at Pastrami <laughs> underscore news. Find me at Marvin underscore S A L G U. Euro. That's Euro. <laughs> for a second, I was like, I turned it. I, was like, I don't know if you forgot how to spell your name or just. No, I was. Those pauses were underscores if you didn't know that. I was uh, at Marvin S A L G U. Underscore, 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 Yaro. <laughs> Yaro. <laughs> Find us on iTunes uh, Wednesday Comics. Subscribe to us or Google Play. It's your radio. Once again, don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, I, was, I never understood. Like, Especially that time. I was like, like, Google Play. <laughs> like, specifically, only I can be heard I'm on trying this to one. shove it in your fucking head. So Facebook.com slash Wednesday Dude, Comics I tell podcast. you what. Where's my fucking board? Who erased Every my <laughs> fucking board? <laughs> you, Who did? you erased you? your board? For what? A game. I never touched your board. I didn't touch my board. 
You're the one who lives here. Oh, I did erase my board. So you fucker. Don't be blaming me for shit. I erased it because I was going to use it for something else. So you have to deal with <laughs> these two. Uh, what else? See, I need that board now. I've been relying on it. Google, um, Stitcher, SoundCloud. Make sure, if, hey, Umbrella Academy Volume 1, the Apocalypse Suite for the Wednesday Comics uh, Book Club for Extraordinary Gentle People. Whoa, you fucked that up. Wednesday Comics Leave Extraordinary Gentle People's Book Club. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, who knows? And I just know that it fills. I saw mind. there was a competitive name uh, that I can't say in one sentence, but uh, a friend of the show knows. I mean, Mike Humble knows what it is. Uh, Sergeant America, sorry. Uh, I just know on Twitter it takes up too much room and I can't say anything about it. Um, <laughs> maybe I should, should I make it an acronym? I already looked at it. I wrote it down last week. It was WCL. Oh, yeah, that's hard. Does the O count? Because it's of? Mm, usually they leave it out. Yeah, so it'd be WCL. No, they don't. World of Warcraft. Wow. See? You put the O in. No, yeah, but it, it that's works, like the worst that. example. Plus, you can't do WW. United States of America, USOA. So, <laughs> uh, so. make sure to read Umbrella Academy. Get on board. We're going to be talking about October 5th. Send in your voicemails, 605 215 1849. That was on that board before. No, it wasn't. It was my head. Um, make sure to send us an email, winscomic605 at gmail.com, or find us on Twitter or Facebook. Let us send us a message. Hey, follow us on the show. I'll follow you back. Send us a DM. Um, don't wait. Slide right in there. Um, if you plan on uh, waiting to the last second, like me, to read that, um, I'll do an issue by issue per day. Uh, read along with you i'll do issue one five days before it's due or is it five issues six issues six days before it start, it's due and then i'll do five four three two one and that way it's fresh you live tweet it i don't want to do that what do you mean you read it and then you tweet it <laughs> what do you mean you don't want to do oh you said no, live no, tweet. no i don't want you to read to them i don't think they want you to read to them no it's a read along i'll be like hey guys i'm reading issue one today you know what you should do and i'm serious about this think yeah. about it i mean it's not it's not gonna have 100 sure but we should do after you're done reading it, you should uh, go live on Twitter and uh, talk about it for a few seconds. Then delete the video so you actually have to watch it live. And then uh, just use your Twitter more. That's all I'm asking. I fucking liked and retweeted our, sh- not the forecast this week. I haven't seen you liked or retweeted anything. What the, the fuck? I, I was like the first one. I made sure. I'm going to go. Oh, fuck. You guys, I made a promise and I'm, ma- I'm like, I'm like well, fuck, I, don't have I keep my fucking promises. See, this is how he has me plays the game too. Gets flustered up. So green land arrow. <laughs> bell. <laughs> bell. <laughs> land arrow. Hey, just remember at the end of the day, we're all social media kings. That's the dumbest thing I've ever said in the show. My name is Marvel. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I'm Alex. And I can attest that is not the dumbest thing you've ever said in the show. I'm Garrett. Everyone keep turning those pages. You thinking USOAS? <laughs> yes. Okay, that's pretty close. Cool.